So, so far we've been able to pull the data and use the words in the dictionary like the key here to get more data and then we could specify the next key to get more data in, in this uh, to kind of hone in. So for example, current observations temp, but uh, not all JSON responses are in dictionary form. What that means is uh, here we can see we have history and then we have date Okay, so those are two uh, dictionaries. So we could do history and then date, uh, like here, history and date. And we print that, we would expect to see everything inside these curly braces here. And we could, instead of using date, we could use UTC date. We'll get everything in here. Uh, and then we have observations, which is really what we're looking for, because we want these observations here. So if we go and copy this, and paste in the URL here. It's got our history and our date, okay? These are no longer valid because these are not the same as they are here, okay? So we have to get rid of this. We have to figure out how to hone in on the data that we want, which is somewhere in here. These are all the readings. So if we start, we can see there's a history, a dictionary here, okay, because it's in the curly braces. So we're going to put print r and history. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so that works. And we notice the next option we have is observations. So we can go down here. That's... Uh, Okay, these are in random order when it prints. It doesn't matter, but there's an observations there. So we can go to observations. So let's give that a shot. All right, so we're honing in. We're getting one by one. We're going in. So now we have uh, a situation where the next level in is in fact not a dictionary. You notice the lack of the curly braces there. You have a bracket, okay? So where we normally go in one by one by one. This is a little bit different. And so what this means is this is called a list. And in Python, a list might be like ages equals two, three, four, five, right? So if you have a list of ages for kids or something, then these don't have keys, like there's no key value pair here, okay? So a dictionary has a key, like a name, and then it returns a value. So when we reference a dictionary, we can say history, and it'll spit back everything within the history dictionary, right? But if it's a uh, list, there is no key value. What we do is we reference it by its position in the list. And with Python, lists start at zero. So if I wanted to print the, like the age of the second, say, student or whatever this is, I can say print and uh, print ages. And then in this bracket, I just put the position of the, the age I'm looking for. Now, in Python, again, these lists start at zero. The index starts at zero. So if I want the second number, I'd actually put one, and when I run that, there we go. Okay, so I'm getting the print from up here, but I'm also getting the print ages, the first index, which is here. If I change this to zero, I'll get the actual first item in the list, which is two. Okay, so now I've got two. All right, so this is the way you traverse through a list you always give it a numerical index. You cannot reference by name like you do here with a dictionary because there is no name. There's no key associated with each value. It's literally just a value. You reference it by index. So when we go back over to our JSON results, we have a dictionary here, we have a dictionary here. So we can say history and observations because those are keys that we can use. But this is a list, so everything uh, within these 
there's a bracket here and it ends somewhere. Uh, we have what are called observations and there's a list here. And that actually probably ends somewhere at the end here, okay? So what they're saying is uh, these are list items, okay? Each one is an actual numerically referenceable time, okay? So each hour is looks like it's its own list item or something like that. So what we want to do is we want to get ultimately this information here. So I need to reference this as a list. This is the first item in the observations list. Okay, it's the very first hour that it's repeating or producing results for. So if you remember back here to get the first item in the list, we just put the index, which would be zero. So if I go and treat it like a, the list that it is and run that, all right, so now it looks like we've got one level deeper. And what we're actually seeing uh, are the results in the list. And now you can see that we're back to a dictionary where we have uh, keys and pairs, uh, key, uh, key pairs here. So we have keys and then values. So I can just find the name that I want. And it looks like we have temperature metric and temperature imperial. Since we're in the US, we're gonna get the imperial temp. And let's say, so temp i. And this is a dictionary entry, so we can do temp i and run that. And there you go. So while this may seem confusing at first, all we're trying to do is start from the top and go level by level to get down, indented down into the actual data that we want. And we see that this is a dictionary, uh, this was a dictionary value, so we can reference these by the name, and then we have a list. So this is the first item in the list, so we have to reference that by its index, which is zero, and then these are uh, dictionary entries. You can tell because it's a, a name and a value with a colon in the middle. So once again, we can reference by name here, by key value. So that's great, so we've got the Oh, we might actually want to do uh, the timestamp as well, okay? Because in Excel, if we're going to open this in Excel, we probably want the timestamp. So let's see where we can find that. Let's see. Uh, okay, so we have GMT and we have Pacific. So really, uh, if you're doing this in the US, you just go by the Pacific standard time. If you're doing it, uh, anywhere else and you want to just use a neutral time you can do that so we're going to go and get this date time here the pretty one that's pretty cool uh, or we could get the hour like the military time hour and minute but i'm gonna get this one we'll just we'll start there and so that's going to be history observations index zero and pretty okay or date sorry date there's another one so that's several levels so it should be history observations zero date pretty let's give that a shot history Zero, is that date? Yeah, date, pretty, okay. Hopefully this works. And I wanna put the date first, so I'm gonna cut this and paste it up here. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. So now we have both the date time and we have the uh, temperature. And so that's pretty powerful. And so let's do that. Let's go through and get the dates and the temperatures for the entire day, because we have quite a few here. And we'll see what we can do with that, get it out to Excel, and make some kind of chart with it.